What's up YouTube? Fallout Freak here. And I am back with another locations video. So we did a Fallout 4 location for the last locations video that was to Sanctuary Hills. So today we're going to be talking about a Fallout New Vegas location. And the location we're going to be talking about in this video is Jacobstown. Very seclusive, very in the very northwest part of the map. I'll get to um, the seclusion and the map uh, view in a second, but without further ado, let's get into it and talk about Jacobstown. Give you a little bit of a layout, a background, and some some more information about it, pretty much. So here we go. Jacobstown is a town built from a pre-war resort on Mount Charl on Mount Charleston, serving as a refugee for super mutants in 2281. Background. Post-war, the area was of little interest to travelers and scavengers due to its remote location and lack of salvageable material. It was not until the past 20 years that it became a permanent settlement for any group. Marcus, the mild-mannered super mutant, sheriff of Broken Hills, took, took it upon himself to find a refuge for the broken-minded of his kind. It proved to be more difficult than holding in the than holding on to broken hills, but he eventually discovered Mount Charleston and decided it was a good spot to set up a community. The town mostly supports itself on the ranching of of big horners. They provide lots of meat and the town can trade the hides for other supplies with with passing car with passing caravan sorry <laughs> wild big horners also roam the foothills so restocking their herd is easy jacob's town is named after jacob a brotherhood of steel paladin and past traveling companion of marcus who together pro who together previously found the town of broken hills founded the town of Broken Hills. Sorry, gosh, I can't speak today. <laughs> it was in remembrance of his old friend who had died long ago that Marcus renamed the old resort. However, not all of the super mutants and nightkin were content to live under Marcus's rules. Davison and Tabitha broke off on their own, eventually winding up with their own dysfunctional super mutant communities. Though Marcus is disappointed at how things turned out, he does the best he can to take care of Lily and the other super mutants and Nightkin at Jacobstown. Even so, a Nightkin named Keen still represents all the other Nightkin in the town. Given that Marcus does not truly understand their troubles, Dr. Henry, Dr. Henry is trying his best to cure their mental illness, but progress is slow going and the Nightkin are growing impatient, impatient and another instance of rebellion is imminent unless something is done. Aside from the conflicts within, Jacobstown suffers many threats from the outside due to their high population of super mutants. They have even tried to establish trade with the New California Republic, but an influential, par but an influential party of the NCR recently sent out a band of mercenaries to either displace the super mutants from the town or remove them through more violent methods, despite the fact that the town has nothing to do with the attacks on the NCR citizens Brahmin. Society. The super mutants of Jacobstown are an egalitarian collective. The super mutants operate in a collectivist mindset, equally sharing their resources among each other for a common goal and almost never physically fighting each other, though there are often splinter factions among, it le among its less mentally stable de denizens. The super mutants themselves can be divided into three groups, the first generation super mutants from the Master's Army, second generation mutants from the Enclave Excavations, and the Nightkin, the Master's Elite Operatives and Commanders. Though there is not a caste system or a highly regimented society, or, yeah, or a highly regimented society, the different generations of mutants tend to gravitate to different roles. The first generation mutants are generally among the smartest and most mentally stable, and act as organizers and community leaders. Marcus, due to his experience as a sheriff and his intelligence, became the de facto leader of the mutant community. The second generation, or dum-dums as some call them, are general muscle and work as extra hands as even the least intelligent of mutants are useful for their strength and manpower. Nightkin, under the representation of Keen, help protect the town from interlopers, or interlopers, excuse me, though their men, 
though their main objective though their main objective is to find a cure for their deteriorating condition although founded as a super mutant haven members of all races are welcome as long as they behave themselves and mind their manners and avoid staring at the nightkin outside relations the residents of jacobstown are friendly and peaceful but despite their best efforts have few good relations marcus wishes to do trade with others including the ncr but their isolation and general anti-mutant sentiment have made this simple task difficult they have ha they have had been scapegoated by the new california republic for supposedly attacking brahmin herds despite evidence to the contrary this has resulted in an influential party of the ncr to send out a band of mercenaries to either displace the super mutants from the town or remove them through more violent methods despite the fact that the town has nothing to do with the attacks on the ncr citizens brahmin marcus however remains optimistic about establishing trade and borders with the ncr believing it is only a matter of hard work and if the current situation can be peacefully resolved despite being close neighbors with the great cons neither seem very interested in the other mostly focusing on their problems with the ncr jacobstown or assimilating into the legion cons the apathetic uh, the apathetic attitude also extends itself to caesar's legion and li as little to no contact has been made between the two groups marcus himself has several opinions on caesar and his legion but this may or may not extend to the rest of the town the state of U utobatha and jacobstown are on strictly unfriendly terms and utobatha tends to give mutants a bad reputation and ordinance to and ordinance toting moronic raiders as ordinance toting moronic raiders sorry about that marcus even goes as far as to plant neil as a spy slash diplomat in order to send unrest and convince as many mutants as possible to uproot and move to jacobstown layout given the snowy climate and the look of the town itself it appears to be a ski lodge resort within mod within with certain modified or fortified parts located in the nearby mount charleston area northwest of new vegas the resort's entrance is approached by nevada state route 157 just inside the entrance there is a giant sign on a tower that says jacobstown left of the entrance is a pen full of bighorners to the right there are a few bungalows the large building to the rear is the jacobstown lodge at the entrance of jacobstown where marcus is met for the first time there are two super mutants standing guard at both sides of the entrance near the one near the one on the right there is a hollowed out rock which has a small heart painted on it and contains minor loot in addition, it is possible to meet Lily Bowen and Keen in the town for the quest, Guess Who I Saw Today, and Dr. Henry for Nothing But a Hound Dog and for Auld Lang Syne. So that's a little bit, or a lot bit, I should say, about Jacobstown. Now, I'm going to show you a picture of what Jacobstown looks like, so let me get to my desktop. There we go, and this is Jacobstown. So it's pretty seclusive here's the mountains uh here is the jacobstown lodge this is the jacobstown sign right here i believe these are the bungalows right here and i think a little bit a little bit of ways over here or around here is the uh big horners uh pen or cages or whatever now let me get to the map and here's jacobstown right here as you can see it's pretty seclusive here's the uh the mountains all around it here's the charleston cave but yeah here's the mountains that you see in this picture right here these are the mountains right here and way over here is freeside and new vegas and then you gotta go way over here to get to jacobstown you can see a road or a path that leads to jacobstown going through silver peak mine and leading all the way to jacobstown and a little bit of a closer look on, on jacobstown i'm thinking these are all the mountains right here these are the bungalows and here's the lodge and one last look at it mountains lodge bungalows big horner cage over here or cages maybe a little further over here but yeah that is jacobstown in a nutshell let me go ahead and get back to my webcam so yeah that is jacobstown hit me up in the comment section below and let me know what you thought about this video what you think about jacobstown and what you would like to see in some more locations videos but until my next locations video is uploaded you must always remember that war 
War never changes.